Try to get this thing going. I got the fuel pump and everything put back in the tank. New new fuel pump. And then uh let's see what else. So we just gotta put the tank back in. That'll be for another video. I need my head mount for my GoPro. I have no idea where it went. I have to search the truck for it. But I gotta load up some tools. Phone number two. A friend's place to work on his uh his bull nose. We're gonna do front suspension on it today. We're doing new springs and shocks. Um, when this was two-wheel drive, I pulled all the old stuff out, set it aside, and gave it to him. And it's a year later. We're just not getting to it. So I need to get old Betty fired up here. It's about 37 degrees right now. It's a little a little chilly. Engine's dead cold. In fact, I don't. Did you drive it yesterday? No, I drove this yesterday. I got bigger injectors, so when you have more fuel and it's colder, it does take a little longer to start. Oh yeah, it's cold now. God damn, it's loud right now. I'm gonna let that warm up, gather all my tools, and uh, roll on out. Well, I've got the essentials. I have a jack, jack stand. He doesn't, my friend doesn't have a proper jack. Um, and I don't even think he has stands, so I have at least one stand so we can start on one side. I got my inch and eighth socket. I do have a wrench, and I've got a bunch of half inch extensions. Um, <clears throat> that's about all we need. I've got some water. Good, good old water. Uh, trucks, uh, we're at 140 degrees right now. Warm up a little bit. I was gonna take the Honda just because I felt like taking the car, but uh, it's a little bit more of a pain in the ass getting the jack out of there. And yeah, I use that thing for work anyways. This I use for work work. Or not work work, but I use the Honda for work work and this I use for other activities. I've got new shoes on, so I'll see how my uh, shifting ability is. I can barely feel the pedals. These boots, I got like actual work shoes now for doing stuff like this because I was just wearing tennis shoes. surprise for everybody next week you know it's not that Bronco I was gonna get that one oh it's 35 out it's even colder uh, I was gonna get that Bronco but um, Swiss cheese frame is all I have to say um, but we have something else to uh, supplement that and I didn't really go out of my way to get it, or ask for it, or look for it, but uh, it's being offered to me, and it's been a long time since I've had one, and uh, I think uh, Adam's on board for it too, so I think we're just going to go get it, <coughs> probably next, next Monday, and then you'll probably see the video end of the week. California Avenue. soon a uh, rod end uh, 
my kit for my track bar. Um, the a lot of the riding kits out there, you can get like a it's a three quarter, three quarter by sixteen or something like that. Well, it's the same size that this track bar uses. So I'm going to be ordering that, and it's relatively inexpensive. It's like thirty four dollars. Kit. So I'm going to order that and it should be somewhat of a straightforward swap. So then I'll get rid of a lot of this play. A lot of this play is that upper mount is just not fitting right. I'm not upper mount, but bushing. The bushing's not tight in the bore. And then the pin that the bolt goes through is not getting bit down on quite enough so when I do the rod end kit I'm gonna modify the spacer so that it's a real tight fit going in and then when you when you run it down there's just no way for it to uh, come loose so that should stiff up the steering quite a bit and I'll be a lot happier going to Klatskanani. I know it's Klatskanani. Someone will get mad at me for saying Klatskanani. Auto upholstery. I want this, I want this dash upholstered with King Ranch. The same color as this dash here. And then I want this seat reupholstered in King Ranch. And then I'll probably get a a uh, saddle color vinyl flooring in here instead of the carpet. Look at my, 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 my I'm just all over the road. I don't know where the wheels are. <laughs> Good God. And I pull cars home with this? Alright, Tibbs. I'm afraid I had to run off and get some parts. We found out the front calipers on this are not happy. Um just doing basically doing suspension and brakes up front um, this thing needed rear shocks pretty bad um, we got I don't know if you can see them but we got air shocks in the back there put those in so it'll give him adjustability but make it so that the suspension's still soft so you know driving off on on the highway or something going to get something that's not a rough ride or anything it's actually right's pretty decent but it's it's bouncy the things like a freaking cadillac the rear shocks were toast show you what he had back there yeah they were they were done there was literally there's no shock left in it the back end was so bouncy so I put air shocks in there because the pair was um cheaper than um two regular shocks it was like 65 bucks or 70 bucks, something like that. It was pretty cheap. So I got those hooked up, teed it off at the axle, and then had a little valve pops up right there. And now we're dealing with the front, uh, which when it's on the ground and not on the jacks or anything, the tire's almost up in the wheel well. That's how tired these old springs are. But this used to be on my truck that's a, a super lift one inch lift coil spring and then skyjacker uh, 7000 shocks these were off my truck when it was two wheel drive so I already got this bolted up I gotta tighten this down and we're done there he's going to get calipers because this one's it won't compress anymore and if you look at it it's pretty pretty bad pretty rusty this is what one of the brake pads look like. Yeah. Garbage. And this rotor. It's garbage. And then it had a loose stud. Oh, so that's not good. So he went and bought brand new rotors. We got a new one there. His, the bearings he replaced a while ago, so those are actually good. I just repacked that all with fresh grease. Put And the seal was still good, so I just reused all that. Got brand new pads, of course. We just need the calipers. New brake for this side. We got 
I mean, look at that spring. And then you look at that one. So if you ever did a diesel swap, his uh, front springs are built for it. And those are the old shocks that were out. These are okay. They, they're, yeah, they've seen better days. They, they moan and stuff when you're trying. When you compress it and it comes back up, it's like, Hear that? So, yep, this is trying to do kind of an update video. We're kind of just, kind of just doing, just, just doing it. I'm kind of lost interest in, in video recording it because I wanted to get this thing done. It's only one o'clock right now. Feels like it's much later, but just wanted to kind of work on it. But yeah, say 86, 302. Um, two-wheel drive. It's probably gonna stay a two-wheel drive, but he was kind of contemplating um, doing a making it four-wheel drive. And if we did do that, we would just run the TTB axles, uh, just because it. He would only need that for just incl inclement weather. Um, he's not serious off-road. Light off-road around here. I think he has a little spot that he goes up to get firewood. And he needs a needs a rig. Um, used to be that, but uh, the transmission's going out on that. Um, I don't know what he's doing with that. I'm gonna get back to work. I'm gonna try and get this side button up, and I'm probably gonna jack this side up and get the wheel off and start tearing it apart. That way, when he comes back, we can just throw uh, the calipers on, bleed the brakes, and take it for a test drive. Um, I I don't know how much the steering alignment is going to be affected as far as tow goes because I don't know how much it's going to lift because when I put those springs in I had to I had the 4BT and remember they came out of this truck so it sat just about level and then the wheels were all like this and I jacked his up to where my truck used to sit and they didn't camber out that much which I thought was interesting anyways here's the front right height I took before taking it apart we got 30 and a half wheel uh lip of the fender to the ground where it sits right now and then the rear um with no air in the shocks it was 33 and three quarter i don't i did not measure it when it had these things in there um but those probably weren't doing anything anyways so yeah it's uh we just replaced the fuel filter on this it was running like crap replaced the fuel filter and started running pretty good it's a good running truck transmission's good but at some point i think he is going to want to do um uh, and he even talked to his wife about it and i think they're kind of wanting to do a the whole manual and four-wheel drive swamp and i think um it'll make him definitely want to keep the thing um after that gets gets done he was kind of back and forth about maybe um selling it but i think what what it ends up being is he ends up just liking it it's because it's an old old truck and easy to fix and uh what he what he said he really likes about it is the long bed see so loaded up his whole apartment and uh and then towed his car i think from canada to here but yeah, I, I I made a little deal with him. I'd work on this, help him out, and we get this thing nice and reliable and running and driving better for an exchange. I cannot see a fun thing. I gotta clean my windshield. I'm probably gonna do that when I get home. So, I didn't really do much video as I had planned today, but uh, we got the truck done. And basically, the truck went from a really lousy driving truck to uh, almost uh, new. Like, I mean, new-ish. Restored. We'll say restored. There.
air shocks held air. I put 80 PSI in them uh, a few hours ago after I got it done and then aired them up and then when uh, when we got done with the front I checked the pressure and it was uh, still at um, what I what I put in there. That's a plus, but yeah, it drives much nicer, sits up higher, and uh, my friend's a lot happier with how it is. Oh, sorry for it here. Um, yeah, much, much happier. So, the next thing we're going to do, the, the steering links on it are completely blown out. So, that'll be the next priority on that. And also, the uh, brake caliper slider bolt it was snapped off from a previous job, so we're gonna have to drill that out and re-tap it, probably for a larger bolt, unfortunately. And we had to put new calipers on because they were both froze, and I'm an idiot and forgot to bring my one, the old ones that I saved off of the two-wheel drive setup from this. Um, but it's probably better that he just went ahead and bought new ones anyways because uh, mine have been sitting for a year. They could be useless as well so but yeah his brakes are working good and he's uh his suspension is much better so yeah anyways sorry for the crappy video um but next week me and adam will be going back up there son of a bitch i can't see a thing man me and adam will be going up there back to my friend's place next week to pick up something so you guys are just gonna have to stay tuned for that she's gonna need some work uh, but that's that's what we want for for our video so yep 